best friend and I started this organization in 2011 and we've been working in Uganda um, with young people and education projects uh, since we began. So we're a Canadian charity and uh, we've been spending our uh, time and our focus on Uganda. So the place where we're at right now is the Hacker Space and it is owned by an American organization called Hackers for Charity. So they generously let us operate programs and equip the space and create a maker space for the Jinja youth community. We were going around to schools just to kind of get a feel for kids that had some a little bit of experience but a lot of passion to go along with it. We've been had a good relationship with Jinja SS to find students who are passionate learners and dedicated and trustworthy to have access to this place. I think that if we use technology and we embrace it, Uganda will reach far, similar to developed countries. It can help me, let me say, like, come up with complex mechanisms, machines which can be used in a society so as to enable people earn a living. To me, technology means development. It means someone moving a step further because if you harness it, you can never fail to become someone. So two years ago, we kind of, the students on their own decided that a project they wanted to undertake was to build a drone. For the last two years or so, we've been trying to come up with a drone, something that can fly at least. Though we haven't been able to achieve it yet, but this is one way out. I'm here as a programmer of the team, Geo Robotics, which operates in this room. I also major in developing mobile applications for the Android operating system. It took me quite a period of two weeks to come up with the search because the knowledge for first sketching it out, it takes some time and also the building part of it, it takes also quite some different times. It's being around these kids and their energy and their passion and their love for what they're doing that makes us want to continue. For those of you who, let's say, say technology, that's, they use Facebook, they love it, they use WhatsApp, they love it. So why not embrace something that's new? A drone is cool. One day you can create a drone that can be sold and I become as rich as Zukaba. Technology is not only for rich kids, but also the poor ones can manage. My message to people, especially the girls in Uganda, in terms of technology, is that you are needed. Yes, they are needed. Because in my field of making applications, I would need someone to design them for me. And I believe girls are perfect with colors and stuff. So I want them to know that in technology, they always, always fit somewhere. If they can't design, they can always market something. Women don't have the voice to do the marketing. I think three new girls joined this year from Jinjasa. So we are trying to encourage them and tell them how incredibly brave they are for being able to say, hey, I'm interested in this. And so what if I'm surrounded and outnumbered by the boys? Mm -hmm.